we don't usually get to see especially Faceless Void come out, but we'll be excited to see Yuragi performing on that last pick, Slardar, though, against the Faceless. So he's not going to have the best of time on the lane, is he? No, he's not going to, but then again, he does have a Crystal Maiden on his lane. Which is which is somewhat True. helpful, but I think he's just the faces void is sort of a creep in a lane, like where he, <laughs> he just doesn't contribute much. He, he doesn't really have spells. Like time dilation is a good uh, spell to like be in a way defensive and like survive some of the early pressure, but. Mm -hmm. Time dilation is okay, but nothing, as I like to say, nothing to write home about. You're not going to write home about, like, I have a time dilation, you know? <laughs> so, Crystal Maiden will kind of be 1v2 in this lane, and Rubik, Slardar, it, it, it can be a very, very offensive lane. I'll tell, tell you what, though, at the, uh, the draft screen, when we just saw the heroes, it was very noticeable to see who was what hero. Until everyone decided to pick their own, and oh my gosh, it was absolutely cosmetics galore. That I think there were so many cosmetics, it actually further lit up my room with the Is monitors. Like, insane, but yeah. Got themselves a disruption. Both teams now fully aware of each other hanging around here within this area, so both of them will back off. Bounty Rune's in 15, as Collapse protects this top Bounty Rune here from Yuragi even getting close, but... Malady is coming forward to maybe stop Collapse from getting Ooh, this top one. There's a blood oh. grenade if they want to commit. I think they will. The... With the crash? Uh. Yeah, that's a kill. They don't even need it. Oh, not the start you're starter looking at. I, I always, I always, always emphasize, and I, I, I think you're already bored of me saying how important it is to not feed the first blood before the lane start. Cause, Cause, it can change, it can change a lot. Even a kill on Mira will mean he gets like a two minutes faster boost of speed, and that that might lead to a faceless void kill. That it, it just might start a butterfly effect of of bad things for Navi. Mm -hmm. Your classic Dota things, I guess. As bottom lane do have ourselves the centaur and the shadow demon lane and miposhka on the bat rider i mean not the strongest of supports here i mean has the flame break to actually push away the centaur if they do decide to dive the lunar do you think yatoro will be okay on this lane or do you think he'll have some concerns laurel it's a game beaten mid but oh, malady yeah, is gonna die again he doesn't have a tp when he respawns so Gonna wait in base for like 10 seconds. Oh no, this this Crystal Maiden, he, he's getting a treatment on this top lane. I mean, I guess Yuragi will be getting soul XP, but <laughs> regardless, the, this this is a sign of a very hard lane to come. And Void, he cannot recover in jungle very easily. Do, do you think Yatoro will be okay though? I think Yatoro should be fine. I mean, Miposhka, you said Beth is like not such strong laner, but uh, I would disagree. He's, he's universal hero and he can get a lot of damage through the stats. But then again, Miposhka decided to not go for the stats. So in, in, in theory, it should be fine lane. But in reality, it can go wrong if they misplay. Okay. But then again, e even if it goes like equally bad as it's for Void, but top oh, wow. lane, time dilation, and a Crystal Nova. Who's the creep now? I know, look at that. Collapse already getting quite low here. I mean, only lo early levels here for the Slardar, so if they do harass him like they have done now, they can do some big damage here and force him to not be as aggressive as a Slardar wants to on the lane. I think but this, this is going to get a lot worse one... for them, I think. I, he buys Orb of Venom, so he's going all in into the aggression. So after they weather the storm and heal through the tangos, they might even make a go for a Lotus. Mira, he's thinking about it. It's frozen. He needs Some to be careful. On the... Oh gosh, Mira! 
Very close. Ooh, four. Is he going to fall here? Aggressive I mean, jump. By the time dilation. They do indeed get the kill. Onto the Rubik. Very nice stuff. And and look what Yuragi is buying as well. He's got himself a second Wraith Band coming in here on the Courier. Which means he is going to be able to tank up a lot better against these attacks here from Collapse. And he is going to be a lot more aggressive on the lane here. I do like this second Wraith Band pickup. It, it's quite... A, um, it's quite an unconventional thing to do. Usually we just see one and go into the power treads, but feels like he needs himself the extra armor and needs to show that aggression in lane. So we'll pick himself yeah. up the second race band. Sometimes the best defense is being aggressive. And that's what they're showing there. Just by going onto the slaughter and Rubik first, they get a kill and it elevates all the pressure. And don't forget, they have a Zeus. So in, in, in a minute, there's going to be this additional damage that might break the lane. There is, yeah. There's not level 6 yet. Only just become level 5. So I think two more creep waves here once we're around about 5 minutes 30 in. Then we should get level 6 on the Zeus. And then this is a possibility to start pressuring here on the side lanes and obtain themselves a kill. So there, there is that advantage, you know. I mean, it's always nice to have... Uh, a big nuke damage just come out of nowhere, you know, like 350 damage. Larl actually gonna make a chain of shame home. A Too chain much of pressure shame. From... I've never heard of it like that. <laughs> I just made it up. I, I, it sounds silly. The, the usually walk call of it... shame. Yeah, they the usually walk call it shame. walk of shame, but he has a chain. So he's gonna be a little bit faster. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bottom lane? Oh, I see. Yep, you have to Nice flame break, but the disruption is there to set up for a double edge. Is this enough to take down Yatoro? Yes, it is. With the level two shadow poison, as they get themselves a kill bottom, as you were saying, had to make sure to not get any misplays here on the bottom. And Navi coming out on top here on the side lane, something that we, uh, we weren't expecting. Yes, and now when he comes again, after a creep wave or two, there's going to be a Zeus ulti online, as we said, and, and if he dies yeah, again, that's, where, that's when it gets really hard. They're going to press the glyph, they're going to start diving, they are aware of it. Here yeah, comes Melody, Zeus ulti is coming! There it is! For the God's Wrath, they've got the kill. Yatoro dead again, but Mira gonna rotate in here with the TP, try and bring Nifrit back with the telekinesis, but they hold their ground, push it back, get them actually themselves a second kill with the Shadow Poison, taking down the Poshka, forcing a TP there on Mira, which then leaves Faceless Void and the Slardar alone. As Lol attempting to get themselves the Timber, but look at this, they got themselves a third kill on the bottom, taking down the Rubik? Three for nothing. I, I I don't think there's a better way to use the first Zeus ulti. Yeah, he gets only kill on the Luna, but he sets up for two other. It, it, it's a pr and oh, they get killed top maybe. Malady rotating top there with the frostbite. They get themselves the kill on collapse as well. Navi, they are just doing the impossible. What we thought was going to be a, a quite uneven game for them. They have shown heavy aggression here on the side lanes and a. Moving around Ooh. perfectly. Oh, uh, what a flame break! I mean, he's not gonna get oh the room, but that's a flame break for ages. That's a lot of damage, though. And the blood grenade thrown from the cliff gets the kill. Does not have enough mana for a TP, though, Milan. So we're just gonna have to. Um, I just chill there. Set up it's fine. Has a crystal maiden on. <laughs> Wave hello hi to the black dragon. But that flame break, I mean, it, it, Centaur will TP in and secure their own, but if not for that TP, it would be a hell of an outplay. And... Tell you what, for seven minutes in this game at the moment, we're really getting some action here. This is what you love to see. Uh, we, we, we talked about it during the draft, the 50-50 would be... A pretty much desirable outcome for for ooh, a desirable outcome for the side of Navi, but top lane now they're on aggressive. Crash is ready. They are. What is fighting back? There's... No chrono. Oh, 
nice stampede there. Just trying to lay into collapse. Still doesn't have that corrosive haze. So Yuragi still laying in the damage as the Thunder God's Wrath comes out again. It's now they're going to attempt for a kill here onto Mira as well. Being bashed up there by Yuragi. Gets themselves two kills here on this top lane with thanks to the Zeus ultimate. And that's all Sanctity has to do. Just tool. Yeah, sit on the mid lane. Just farm up <sighs> the creeps come in and just press R whatever it requires. Well, unless, you know, there's a different button hotkeyed on his ultimate, but... That's pretty much what he's doing, pressing one button. If you're like, oh, Zach, will be spotted, I think. Uh, this is a they're little bit of uh, an interesting play. They are. Zach. He's dead. Yeah, they will find him. Something finally going right for Spirit. It's only a Shadow Demon, and now they're going to turn for Melody, uh -oh. keeping from the Centaur. Yeah, they will take down he's gonna Melody. Cancel. Navi getting a little bit ahead of themselves. We were saying how 50-50 would be great for them. They were pretty much stomping the lanes before these two kills. So maybe if they just decided to chill, it would be much better for them. But gonna lose two heroes, gonna lose the Centaur TP, gonna get deep ordered by the that deep mid lane ward that Shadow Demon placed right before he died. So basically a 50 percent throw of their network lead in in one sequence i mean lunar is not doing well compared to the faceless void 1k behind a faceless void i did not expect this in regards to the carries still we should be expecting him to match the void throughout this mid game but not like this zayak and sanctity right here to punish and they're gonna go for yatoro again a sanctity rotating in they find another kill on this luna does not have any breathing room here to just farm up and catch up to this faceless void further put behind not having fun at all here on yatoro i i think the only way here is to not show on lanes let this tier one tower just fall and Go farm here. I mean, Yuragi does have himself a Mask of Madness on the way. Chronosphere is ready, so could rotate in and help attempt to get a kill here on the mid lane. He does have himself that TP. Yes, but meanwhile, he's going to be hitting this bottom tower. The last hit is very juicy. Can he get it? Trained professional uh, doesn't Kappel. get it. Kappel just does so much damage. It's so difficult I to... If this sometimes. game before the draft, after the draft ended, if someone told you that Navi is gonna be getting the first tier one tower while keeping their own, like I would be laughing at you. I'll be like, no way. But <laughs> boy, it gets a bottom tower, goes back top through the gates, ready to TP mid if needed. As you said, he's he's getting everything he wants, even Ooh. more. But spirit, they're smoking up for Nifrit though. Centaur. In trouble, takes way too much damage for the Centaur to handle there with the level 3 Whirling Death and the Chakram. Just all pure damage coming out there. On the Centaur, they will find a quick kill. Navi needs to be careful. If you give Spirit an inch, they'll go a mile in this combat. Or well, maybe perhaps they can go for Collapse Chronos here. On the... oh, it is. There's a rotation here from Mirror. Stolen Frostbite. Well, that's quite a nice spell to steal. Oh, lol. Stampede comes out. Oh, they don't, they don't catch him there with the lightning bolt. Lol gets away. They did commit Stampede for that there too. Meanwhile, in the river, Malady in some trouble. Nice time dilation. Stopping Maposhka there with the sticky napalm. They find the kill. Killing spree for Yuragi. Not too unhappy about that sequence on Spirit. Forcing out the Void TP. Yeah, he doesn't use Chrono, but the moment he goes top back, it will open up a mid play with this Blink Dagger that's coming in 100 goals. So Spirit, about one minute to use the Void not having TP. Can they do it? I mean, still has that Chronosphere ready. 
on the way to be completing the Maelstrom here soon. Doing very good in regards to Network still here, the Faceless. And Yathoro attempting to catch up, has a stack, going to stack again within this triangle, make that a times four stack. And then hopefully we'll see the net worth start to uh, climb dramatically here. So currently on 4,800 gold. I wonder how much Yuregi is going to get from this. Four men smoke. They want to go to collapse, but collapse will try to go back right now. His blink dagger is on the courier. Can they smell this? If they find the Luna, this would be perfect. Oh, this is going to be so big. Yeah, they see Yatoro. He senses Can it. Can they get him though? Yeah, he does he sense it. A blink. No, they won't be able. But they will take all of these stacks, which further hurts Yatoro. I mean, great senses there to understand that they were coming for him. But unfortunately, that times four stack is lost. And Yatoro heads himself bottom, so not able to recover from that ginormous stack. Still better than, than giving them the kill alongside yeah. it. I mean, Yatoro, I mean, I feel like it's a great skill, but hold it to Larl. If he goes here, he might get caught. Haste room for Sanctity. Probably the best one he can find. Through their empowering this Navi lineup. But, the, as I said, like, it's a great skill to know when to give up big things, you know? If you're a carry player, like, 99% of carry players just stay there because, oh my god, they're taking my ancient stack, but the other just has a, a, has a mindset of, it is what it is. I have to give it up. What is the other choice? Feed myself with it. And, and these hard choices is what, what makes a, a great player. Mm -hmm. Bottom tower is under attack. There's looking at Sanctity actually, just checking out the items here on Zeus. Has that Falacra tree and trying to obtain Kaya here. So, gonna be intriguing to see whether he will build the Manta style eventually and go into that build with the, the Lightning Hands. Zayak, Stampede. gotta get out of here. Yeah, they commit the stampede there. I mean, blink, early blink dagger here and collapse. Went the blink dagger as soon collapse. as he could. Coming somehow, just ensuring yeah, that everyone dies. But that's a pretty long cooldown. 80 seconds down the drain and collapse. And Miposhka are going to start playing a, a, around their vision. Pinging out Sanctity. He does have a haze, but there is a chain lockdown. If they Ooh, manage there to is. They're going to go for the kill here with the Corrosive Haze, and that is most definitely a kill there. Lovely Observer Ward helping to They're obtain that more. kill there on Sanctity. This move perhaps will go for Yuregi here also. The Corrosive Haze is indeed there, but they don't have themselves the lasso. They already committed that on Sanctity. I feel like this is where the draft issue comes from the Navi, where they would happily take 5v5 engagement or 4v4 engagement, but the small engagements are not favorable for them. There's just too many little things to worry about on the side of Spirit for now. It's gonna change quite soon, so Spirit, they get a zoo skill, but they need more. So what Navi will do, they will gather up 4 heroes. Oh, I think they want to go for Yatoro. We got Yuragi rotating in here with a Chrono. Will he be able to get the Chrono? Ooh, yes, he will. Just on the edge. Going to commit the Mask of Madness now. The Stomp is there too. They will commit the Thunder God's Wrath. And they will get Yatoro once again here on the Lunar. Just not able to catch up to this Faceless Void. Literally perfect from Yuragi. Just catching him on the edge. Allowing Centaur to follow up. Beautiful. No, it's, it's like a game of turns, you know. We use Lasso, we get the Zeus kill, we use Chrono, we get a Luna kill. Now, now it's a, a, again, turn for Spirit to go on aggressive hand. They're gonna smoke S3. Will they find the Nefrit? Oh, they will find the Centaur as that damage comes out, as you see. Lol has just been able to farm up completely fine here, and this is where the tide possibly turns. As the Timber saw, he is one big boy. Look at him go here with the Timber Chain, another can in the world. But time dilation does come out, and they will try and attempt Stop to turn it around here field. with the freezing field. 
This doing some damage, but LOL just taking absolutely none whatsoever. Gets a kill down to the Crystal Maiden. Yuragi needs to get out. He will be found and taken out there by the Whirling Death. There's no damage that can take down this Timbersaur as they find themselves possibly another one. Yes, they will with the Fade Bolt taking down the That's Shadow Demon. They will lose Ooh. four here on Na'Vi. I mean, I, I think they just got a little bit caught off guard there. Yeah, you lose this Centaur first. Uh, you don't have a Chrono. I think it's Sirens should be in Na'Vi's head. Just get the fuck out there. But they decide to kind of fight it back. And that will lead to a, almost a team wipe. Four heroes plus a tower. A complete turnaround. 3k lead now for this Luna. This Luna is catching up on Void. And oh, we all 100%. remember how the laning stage goes. But now, again, it's our turn. Can Navi make a good move of their own? It, it, it's been like oh, a no way. punching No ball. way, they go for Yatoro again! He just doesn't have any time to breathe! The stomp is there! Goodbye, Yatoro! For that. that is the fifth time! The Yatoro has died in this scenario. He just gets ganked every time! They just stop him from farming. They they know that this is a win condition here. They just take down the Luna. They know that once they do get themselves the Luna farmed, then their their base is in trouble in regards to towers and objectives. So as long as they keep this Luna down, then this game will prolong, and that is going to be beneficial here for the Faces Void. We all know how good Faces Void late game is. I just wish we had face. Camera face of, of Yatoro. I think he is very, <laughs> very yeah, anyway. annoyed by this. It's just, I came as you said, for the like fifth time, they're coming with his triangle. Zayak, gonna get caught. Do they even need to commit lasso? It's gonna be on cooldown, so they're not gonna do it anyhow. Yeah, that's dead. Unstoppable for Larl. Yatoro and Collapse oh. did have a oh. bad laning stage. Hold that Nefrit. Sword, Nefrit. Going to stampede. commit the stampede there and try and escape, but oh, okay, they stole the frostbite there. They didn't get the stampede. I thought I thought they had the stampede there for the second. They're okay. Chronosphere available as well here, Milan. So maybe perhaps they can do something juicy here with the Chrono. I mean, still not and not not enough damage to take down Law though. That, that is what they're lacking. How will they kill this Timbersaw? What what do they need to do in order to take down Law? I mean, if he's alone. Like, if they catch him outside of his team, they can do it with, like, all the spells, like Bale, Zeus, Centaur, multiple double edges and stuff. But in a team fight, they, they just have to ignore him. This is 3,000 HP on top of Shroud, on top of all the status resistance, but... Spirit oh, smoke's gonna move. break. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's not on to four. This could be a massive Chrono. The Chrono comes out there. It connects onto four. They've got themselves the Rubik and the Bat Rider. Now they're laying into LOL. LOL, absolute disaster here for Team Spirit as they come forward. They get themselves. Look at that. Three kills. That is not what they're expecting. Nifrit comes out here with a four-man stomp, which turns into a four-man Chrono. Absolutely beautiful stuff coming out here from Na'Vi. And they're gonna instantly turn it into Rosh. The best possible option. Will they have enough damage with the freezing field and the Zeus? Should be more than enough, but it's what happens even to the best teams. Sometimes when you smoke, just on the start of the smoke, you gather, so it affects everybody, and you stay there for two seconds. And Nefret, I have never seen a better stomp in my life. A hoop stomp onto the four, perfectly follow up with the Chrono, with all other spells. It was just, oh. it was just beautiful to see. It was. I mean, I mean, Collapse somehow got out of there, though. I mean, I guess when you're in the river with Guardian Sprint, you are one fast boy, I presume. So, I mean, they only got the three kills. <laughs> yeah, they all focused LOL, didn't they? They they all went, no, no, no. We're not going for Collapse. Everyone go on LOL right now. We need to take down this Timbersaw. And they did. They got the kill. So, I, I think Collapse just was able to get out of there because everyone wanted to take down the Timber. They got the uh, Tormentor there, too. Rosh and Tormenta is kind of a, a perfect script for Navi. Like you use all your big spells, you get basically almost a team vibe. Then you, while you have no spells to fight, you take these objectives. Rosh and the Tormentor. Who got the shard? Didn't pay attention. 
It's Nefret. That's a pretty, 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 pretty juicy shot nice to get shot. for free. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's 23 minutes in. It's the fact that I think both, at least Crystal made them, both her own, and the Shadow Demon didn't, but after the Agarans, he, he will definitely go. And we didn't speak about it. The Shadow Demon, Zaya, kind of rushing this Agarans Scepter. Not a build we usually see. We usually oh. see either a Bling Dagger, Aetherless, or a Glimmer Cape before it. He, he thinks it's super it... valuable this game. So, uh, what 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 is he gonna do here with the uh, the Agnims here? Is he gonna cast like demonic purge always on the timber or Slardar, or is he gonna cast demonic cleanse here on maybe perhaps like Nefrit if he gets himself corrosive hate? Like what what's what's the plan here? Do you think with the Agnims? It's both, but most importantly, both. It does break the Slardar. It kind of puts him out of the game. Like every time he tries to do something aggressively, comes into the fight, he's gonna get purged and like everything he does is gonna be gone. He's just gonna be sitting there like a creep. Such a good spell here. I mean, especially piercing the the debuff immunity. It's no longer called spell immunity anymore, remember? The, the whole BKB change. Gosh. Do you, do you always it. keep on calling it spell immunity or not? Or ah, it depends. Almost find a better rider there with the Zuzu oh. teeping from a shadow Never demon. It. They want to catch collapse. Yeah, stampede comes Ooh, out. Stolen stop. stampede, stampede. Though. very nice it's... from Mira. That actually helps collapse get away here. Unless you rag, he wants to come in with a crit. No, he don't. No, don't risk it. Don't risk it there with the chrono. There's Nefri. Oh, not able to get Mira there either. Just TP's away. That was a super long TP, nice almost gets caught there, but only way Collapse lives there is the Stolen Stampede. Beautiful stuff from Mira. And they're gonna get their own Tormenta, and it, it's gonna be a lovely Batrider shard. <laughs> I just want to uh, highlight to here, Milan, Yatoro, he has been able to get some space. He's been able to farm up, but uh, something that we don't usually see uh, within the pro games at the moment, Yatro has decided to go on a Dragonlance here on the Lunar. Is there is there a reason for the Dragonlance pickup for the, the Lunar? Uh, I don't know the exact reason. I can only like try to assume. Uh, we don't usually see it, as you say, but it might be something to do with the Void or Centaur not going BKB and like if they try to lock down onto him like he can always get a pike out yeah if he decides to go okay. forward with it so I would just I would just think because it's, it's a read they're not going BKBs if I buy a pike whenever they jump me I can just pike out oh I'm going a uh a Sanjin Yasha here on Yuragi, so has the status resistance from this item. What what does the uh, the Sanjin Yasha help Yuragi against here in this game? Ooh, nice force from Porsche. Is, I think it's Lasso, right? Maybe I mean, Lasso? And the Cruise. telekinesis and the Slardar yeah. lockdown. All this lockdown it, it, it kinda becomes bad mm. versus the SNY. Yeah, you're right. Oh, you're right. I mean, he's right near M Meposhka. Ten seconds I mean, on they, the ages. They, I think I think the ward actually spots Meposhka here. Because as you see, they've got themselves an observer ward. They know two heroes are around here. I mean, Nefrit just missing the uh, the hoof stump there, getting a little bit too confident. Aegis expires, though, now on Yuragi. So what will Na'Vi do now, now that the Aegis has expired? I mean, they're still not getting rid of this observer ward. It's, it's both of the observers on the mid are giving so much info to Navi. They basically know everything what's happening. They're gonna see me Poshka walk around. They, they see him for a year, and finally, he's gonna get rid of it. Oh. I mean, we're starting to get to that late game now, Milan. I mean, 30 minutes in. Look at Yuragi here. Opting to go the Eye of Scaddy next, which is going to be a devastating item against the Lunar. Yatro not wanting to go MKB here, but 
not MKB, sorry, I mean Butterfly, but a Conda instead, so getting that damage off with the Lucent Beam. I'm pretty standard, and the Enchanted Quiver works very well with it. Oh, oh wait, they just got Tiny Atomo, instant TP. Instant TP. Yeah, we'll get out. Nicely nice done. Job. I mean, I'm still a little bit worried about the Faces Void, because he's not decided to go BKB. Like, yes, he has a Chrono, yes, he has status resistance, but like once he uses Mask of Madness, if Laurel on Timber locks onto him, like the amount of damage he can do, the pure damage, he might just be able to kill him, like solo. Especially with the BKB that he's gonna get. Nothing to stop it besides the Chrono. And, and to totally um, not related to the, the, the game at length, but uh, a little bit of uh, a cosmetic talk. Uh, Yuragi, <laughs> if you have a look at his profile picture, I mean, they do just smoke up. He's got the old idol animation here from Faceless Void. Look, that, that's, I swear that's the old idol animation from Faceless. It's not the new one. Maybe oh, perhaps he has a... No time to talk about cosmetics. We <laughs> might see a <laughs> fight. Yeah, yeah, they both smoke. They're away from each other, it's fine. They go in the opposite direction, we can talk about cosmetics all we want here. Rosh, potentially in 30 seconds, which I think means for both teams it's gonna be on the bottom side. Yeah. No fight for now. Has those mantra illusions now though on Sanctity, so able to use the lightning hands and push the wave. And I gotta say, the Mantra Illusions on Zeus, very, very helpful here to clean out the Manta Style Illusions on the Lunar, too. It's actually quite impactful. Yeah, I, I didn't think I'll ever say it in my life, but as the Zeus combination, you know? <laughs> Disruption with the Zeus, it's not too bad. <laughs> Whose idea was it to add this Agnim shard on the Zeus? And then who who was it that actually, you know, brought this build into light? It's exactly the same situation with the uh, the whole PA Revenant with approach the, thing. It's probably ah. the earliest possible spawn. Like probably it was, was 20, 30 seconds. We, we didn't see it. Yeah. Or it was kind of instant. And Navi will take this bottom side of the map. They'll claim it, but Spirit is steeping. Do they have a smoke? They most certainly do. Zayak is not Ooh. here though for the fight if they do decide to go in or they get jumped here by Team Spirit. They just saw Yuragi as well. Time walk down here near the camps. They will smoke up. Lol coming forward no, here, baiting what? it out. He's baiting. Or Timber Chain. And they force out the time dilation. This collapse trying to go f around the back lines we here and maybe, maybe perhaps they can catch themselves something as Yuragi has been scattered out they could go for a big jump here onto the faces but they're going to attempt to turn it around here onto the timber not able to actually timber chain away they will take down the timber saw as now they come forward there a chrono connecting onto Yataro as Yuragi laying in the damage gonna bash up the Luna time and time again as Yataro not able to actually even use this BKB will fall here along with Collapse also triple kill for the Faceless Void. Here we go Milan, this is the game that you want on Faceless Void, able to make it through the early and middle stages of the game. Now you're at the oh. late stage. We spoke before a game how Yuragi has a chip on his shoulder to prove something in this game and what does he do? 8, 1 and 4, perfect chronos. Carrying this game hard. BKB ready I mean, now. He's gonna go back to Rosh. Meanwhile, Biposhka oh. is gonna get caught. Yeah. He's trying to cut the wave here, but he will be found and taken out. So at least he delays some time here and stops Na'Vi from taking that tier 3 tower. But most possibly now, we may see Na'Vi get themselves a second Aegis here as Yuragi heads himself into the pit. Will start to hit into this Roshan. A perfect script once again. You use your chrono, you use your all abilities, you win a team fight and straight into Rosh you go. We hoped that uh... I mean for Spirit that they'll be getting Roshans versus Void. Because that's the thing you need versus this hero to win, but Yuragi, second ages for him. 
a huge position for Navi. That Zayak ultimate as well with the demonic purge on the timber saw again. Oh, they may they may do it again here, Milan. There it is. Going to attempt to timber chain away. In comes Nefrit with the stomp. And look at all that damage being outputted there on poor, poor LOL. Will be found within the trees. Trees being his worst enemy here on Timbersaw, taken out. Kind of crumbling on the side of Spirit. Their position was not too bad before that fight, but they decide to go into the enemy vision. As you said, Zusulti comes out, shows kind of everybody. And now, yes, he skipped on the Scotty for the BKB, I really liked it, but Scotty is, it seems like he gets it at the same time, basically, BKB plus Scotty, and this Void is out of this world form. <laughs> yeah, Definitely. I mean, 22 at 33, that's a lot. Do you think there's a possibility, though, that Team Spirit can pull something back here? I, I mean, I think it's a possibility it's because better, that last bro. team fight. Mm, yeah, Come exactly. On. I mean, they'll... The last team fight as well, they were they were quite split away from each other. They they weren't all together in that last fight, which allowed them to pick off LOL like, very easily, along with Yataro there too. So, I mean, if they're all together and they get themselves a good jump, maybe perhaps a chainstone with a lasso, because they haven't been able to use that yet, then maybe they can get themselves a nice kill. But obviously, of course, got to remember the status resistance here on the faceless void. That lasso is not going to last for long if they do commit it upon him. I mean, that's the biggest takeaway from last fight for me too, is Spirit not getting a jump. If they find a fight on their vision and they get a jump, anything that can happen. We saw so many times this Luna be a oh, burst. Okay. The Peshk is found oh, and will be Peshka taken down. out. Uzu Suti finds Yataro. Oh, 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 they found Yataro, who is forming in their triangle. You're right, he's going to commit the Chronosphere and find another kill once again. Poor, poor Yataro, 0 and 7, Milan. Yataro is crying. I'm crying for him. <sighs> so sad. Don't usually see that, man. 0 and 7, Yataro. Struggling this game as much. As Navi hoped, uh, tough for Spirit fans, but good for Navi fans. And now, Yuragi will go to the high ground. No Luna for 43 seconds. Even if he has buyback, he wants to force it with the Aegis. Nothing much to care about. Yeah, Aegis for two minutes. Has the BKB as well. Anna saving the back lines here from Zayak if things go sideways. I mean, nice Liverine crush, but oh, look at that. They just respond there with the Demonic Purge, slowing down Collapse. Has to back himself away. They will find that Tier 3 tower, though Yuragi is half HP. They come in there trying to find a kill there onto Malady, and they will do so there indeed. As Yuragi laying in the damage there with the Bash, he is able to get the return kill there to Mokoshka, but a three-man Sliverine crush, but they're not able to do anything with it. Nonetheless, they're going to try and find more. But a two-man stomp there. Yatero coming back into the fight. Able to actually find the Centaur. They take down Yuragi. Yuragi will come back alive. Has himself that BKB there ready. But the time dilation is indeed on cooldown. He has to be careful. Taking too much damage here. Will have to activate the BKB. And time walk back here. Trying to save Zayak. Zayak will actually be taken out here by Collapse. And Sanctity also being pressured here. Will Yatero finally be able to get a kill? No, it's actually taken there by the support. It's now the attempt to chase Yuragi. No, They've lost all right. here on Na'Vi. But Yuragi will finally get away there with the Time Walk. We'll mask of madness away. But Team Spirit, they come out on top during that team fight. Uh, on top is is uh, underselling it a little bit. 4k gold advantage from that fight and 8,000 XP. I mean, we ha how many times have we seen it? You know, game is looking green for Spirit. Enemy has the Aegis, enemy has the everything. Then they come to a high ground and Spirit is like... You're welcome. And they just kill all of them, basically. Five of them dead. Yuragi will live because of the Aegis factor, but a big, big comeback. Yep. Very big comeback at the moment. I mean, Yatro, 
Finally able to output damage. Has one kill. Milan, one kill. I mean, if this was a pub game right now, um, maybe perhaps there would be um, someone here who's, you know, morale not so high in the game at the moment sees a 1-7 uh, Luna. <laughs> yeah, but it, you got, not with it, It's hard for yeah. Yathro. Yeah, it, it, you know, he's been focused. What, what was it? it he, he got ganked five times with Stampede and Smokes. He has been relentlessly targeted here by Na'Vi. But this is what you want to see. The mentality of Yatero here, not giving up, still farming. This is what you call a carry, folks. Not someone who goes, oh, GG, after the, you know, like 25 minutes. He still stays you in might, it. He tries his very best. You might say his spirit is not broken. Nice pun. Nice pun, Mel. Uh, anyhow, the biggest... <laughs> <laughs> thing for Nuri from that last fight is that they didn't have a chronosphere. Now it's ready and still I think fights are in their favor to win when it comes to like percentages, like 65 to 35, but it's the spirit we're talking about. They have beaten bigger odds or harder yeah. odds, however you want to put it. We'll, we'll just bring up game three of TI every time. The uh, team spirit are behind. Yeah, exactly. I mean, not just uh, yeah, game no. three. I've watched a billion of their games, and <laughs> it's almost every other game. It seems like they should lose. They're on the back foot. They have the network disadvantage. They have the I don't know the carry to carry matchup disadvantage. Yada yada yada. Shut up. We are the team spirit. We eventually prevail. And once again, it might be the case. Sanctity is going an assault cuirass here on the Zeus. Um, that's a first. Attack speed I mean, will come in pretty yeah. handy. And yeah, you're playing guess, as the yeah. slumber, nonetheless. That is true, that is true. But you have to being able to. For me, Porsche. That might be the X Factor. Spirit was missing because Miposhka really had a tough time getting a good initiation off. With the BKB, should be able to connect like on a Shadow Demon. And if he mm -hmm. does that, it could turn the whole fight around. But meanwhile, Mira gets caught. TP out. We're going to try and TP no, away. It's cancelled. Yeah, they'll find that kill there. Rubik taken down. As meanwhile, Yatro though, just goes get himself a kill on Malady. Within their jungle, with the CM was on his own. Oh, Lasso there coming out onto Sanctity. They're going to try and attempt to turn it around. They will find the kill there onto Maposhka. Now they focus now into Collapse. As Luna was not there in time, was a little bit too confident here on Team Spirit. Thought they could get something, but Nifrit able to survive through it all. 5,000 HP here on the Centaur. With, I, may I add, a so Shivers. Like, the moment they jumped the Zeus, I Thought they, they, they made a read, he's alone, but Na'Vi very fast to respond, they get basically two free kills, now they're knocking on the mid -rex. Glyph is ready, but do you want to use it, it's not going to refresh, mid -rex is gone, bottom on the menu, do they want to buy back and defend this, Chrono is ready, everything is basically ready for Na'Vi side. Yeah, and AC finished now on Sack C with the uh, Hurricane Pike. Coming now into the bottom set of racks. They will be able to get those two. One set of racks remains, and Yatero is going to go all out here. He will not save himself a buyback. He will go this Satanic. Do you think that is the right call here from Yatero? I think Satanic will be a kick. Because, I mean, Yuragi does have himself an eye of Skadi. If he, if he procs this onto the, the Lunar Eye field, then will not be able to heal back up. And now Yuragi has just finished himself a butterfly here, too. So... Not even going to be able to heal up here against the faceless. They're going to hear the rush roar. I mean, Satanic buyback is, for me, always a better tool versus the Chronosphere. But going all in for Satanic, buying out, I think it's also a okay thing if you're planning to fight outside of the base, because buyback will not be so useful. And they're going to do exactly that. Smoke, try to find Navi. But Navi will dodge it. Just 
Don't yeah. complicate it. Mid and bottom racks taken, DP top. All five together. Don't give a spirit chance. Oh, Wait, spirit. Did, um, spirit did, did, is did, going for it, man. Oh, going go for behind. Oh, no, man, no, no, no. Okay, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. They're coming in from behind. I mean, Bat Rat here, Maposhka, has bought himself a Shadow Blade here, Milan. Are they, they're thinking of committing the, uh, the Thunder God's Wrath. I mean, they do have it. They are revealed now. Lol is going to TP here. Do they have another smoke? I don't think so. No, they're, they're, they're going to get themselves back. They're not going to commit it. Right now, they're on the high ground here. I mean, Nefrit has himself the ninja gear, so still somewhat smoked up. Maposhka's going to scout it out, though, with the Shadow Blade. Does see the Firefly here, and is wondering what the heck's been going on <laughs> this side of the map. Why is the fire just spawning in front of me? Well, that's because the Bat Rider has a Shadow Blade. I, I know, I have not seen it either, but you know, anything can happen. Spirit going a little bit out of box here. Understanding that <laughs> he's hiding behind a, a normal tree. Boy is not gonna do this. <laughs> like you cannot just stand in base and try to defend against this Navi lineup. It's it's not gonna do the work. You have to go somewhat around. You have to buy a shadow blade on Bat Rider and hope you catch this shadow demon. It's the only way, and that's why I like Team Spirit. They're always trying to find a solution, even if it's super unconventional super like out of box they, they'll still try for it like even this five man gate if smoke lasted for like five ten seconds more maybe they get they get the best possible shot on winning this fight they probably don't win it anyway but still uh, a good try nonetheless So still has around about 3 minutes and 30 on this Aegis. Plenty of time if they do want to try and find a jump here. But will Team Spirit give them that? I think they're just going to sit high ground here. Of course, remember, no buyback on Yatoro at the moment. There's meanwhile almost all buybacks available on Na'Vi apart from the Zeus. So only buybacks available are on Collapse and Maposka, just Slardar on the bat. Still hanging around this triangle here. What What is the plan here for Na'Vi? How How do they need to win this fight? What can they do? Do, do they just need to get themselves maybe perhaps a, a vision here where they've taken the barracks at the bottom and just try and jump from there? Or do you think they need to go at it a different way here, Milan? I mean, they're just going to allow a chance for Spirit to make a mistake and they might be just making oh, one. I mean, BKB, TP, yep. Good yeah, enough BKB without faces away. void, he just gets out there, but th that's what they're gonna do. For like two minutes, they're gonna allow them to make a mistake. Even this is a slight one, forcing a BKB. Oh, and then... Kikiraki hit, Ninja Gear. Wanted to try and get a Chrono hit. Maybe go for LOL. I mean, nice return there with the Hex. And we've got no ourselves BKB another Demonic Slardar. Purge upon the Slardar. Slardar okay though, Yuragi still holding on to that Chrono. Still not committing for anything yet, though. They have felt the spirit power. Last time they had the Aegis and pushed high ground. I, I just, I'm just, it's going through their head. They don't want to give them another chance. You don't let this team spirit come back to this game easy. And going high ground is the hardest thing to do right now in Dota. Yeah. Two minutes left on this Aegis as well. That, that time slowly ticking down here for Na'Vi. I mean, what can they do? I mean, Lol is showing himself on the low ground. Yuragi pinging it out, but not wanting to go for it here, being very reserved here with this Chrono. Really wants a good opportunity for a kill. Actually going to lay some damage here into the Tier 3 with the Catapults. This may be an opening for them as Nifrit comes forward there. They caught themselves three, maybe perhaps. Does he want to commit the Chrono? No, he's still saving it here for this time. Still okay. They're going to focus all of their damage here into Lol, but Lol will survive through it all, even with that demonic purge upon him. And they will find the top set of racks. But the stolen Frostbite is there. Yuragi will get himself out. And look at that. 
They don't lose one here and get themselves the Mega Creeps. Spirit. Somewhat accepting their fate of the Mega Creeps. Like it's just what it is, but Centaur jumps. No follow up yet, though. Yuragi slowly being patient here with the Chrono. 40 seconds remaining on this Aegis. You want to try to use it? Oh, I did try and go for Collapse there, but Collapse blinked away. Still had this Chrono ready. There's all nice disruption. Okay, this could be a Chrono. As here we come forward, as the Chrono will be committed there onto two, they've caught themselves the Azure Eye Throw, gonna die. He has himself by back, gonna try and come back to the fight here as Collapse in through it all. They're all gonna focus this slot on right now, will take down the Crystal Maiden. Collapse is actually able to escape, and Yatoro coming back here with the buyback, laying the damage onto Yuragi. He will be able to time walk away. Still has himself that Aegis, it will expire now. But they at least force out the buyback from the Lunar. Four buybacks still available here for Team Spirit. Navi showing the discipline here. They use the Chrono. They get a kill on Luna. Luna buys back. They just run away. Now all they need to do is just weigh the Chrono out and do it again. And it's going to be a victory. As Yatoro oh. cooking the rapier, he knows what time it is, but I don't think Nam will, <laughs> will allow it. They see collapse. Oh yeah, they've got him there with a the hoof stomp, trying to escape right now. The stampede is there. Does have him? No, it doesn't have himself the BKB. It was on cooldown there. They get the kill. Buyback is available though, Milan, on this slaughter. So, I guess not the end of the world. And an Agnim's obtained here on Yuragi 2. And a refresher shard, we didn't speak about it much. Yet. It's refresher a double shard. chrono double BKB. He has Agnim's in his backpack. Could buy Blessing if he wants. We'll lose the stat. Yeah, though. he, could. Yeah, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be able to have himself buyback either. His buyback costs way Not too much. Here. 2000. <laughs> Oh, going forward, wants to try and get a lasso. Does indeed get a lasso onto the centaur, but there's no follow-up here, Milan. No follow-up whatsoever, as they will take down the Batrider. Down for 70. That is not what they were looking for here on Team Spirit. And now, two Kronos are ready. I mean, you can't blame me, Porsche guys. The only thing we have done, push the advantage while they have at least one Chrono on the cooldown. Because versus these two Chronos, I don't have no idea what you do, and Yuragi is coming. I mean, they have the buybacks to turn it back around. I mean, even if two Chronos are committed, Team Spirit, they have the buybacks. Just got to be careful it's not Luna that's Chronoed, because not on the as I remember that exactly. last team fight, I mean, they're going to initiate that onto LOL. LOL already lost half of his HP. The Stampede comes out in return there. They will disengage here on Na'Vi. It's the buyback there from Meposhka, the and they will Still has lasso. Space. I mean, just desperately looking for anything they can get on the side of spirit. It's just so hard. Oh, and collapse will go for the minus three seconds slivering crush cooldown uh, over the undispellable corrosive haze here. But meanwhile, getting stomped on once again. Collapse. It's a lot of damage. That's the puddle they're able to heal up. It does apply, the slithering clash applies the Corrosive Haze, so it kind of... You still get a lot of ultimates out, but yeah. Luna oh, is seen. Oh, yeah, oh, they could small. get Luna! This is it. Uh-oh! Disruption! Where's the Chrono? I mean, is Yuragi, there it is! There's the Chrono Sphere! As the lasso, oh, it comes out! <laughs> will that save you, Yatoro? No, it will not, Yatoro! Down for two minutes as a second Chrono comes out there for Yuragi! 
as he's laying into the damage there onto Lol. Lol will fall. Buybacks available for both Rubik and the Timbersaw coming back. But Collapse is in trouble. Collapse. This BKB is going to expire. I mean, a Chrono there onto Free. Can they attempt to turn it around here on Team Spirits? The buyback there from Timbersaw wants to get back here and lay in the damage. Lol perfectly healthy right now. There's three buybacks from Na'Vi. They want to end this game now. BKB is going to expire soon here on Lol, but they're just going to delay into the tier fours here on Na'Vi. What else can they do? They have one opportunity to try and turn this around here on Team Spirit. Blinking in there on top of four. Lol, so close here to be potentially dead. If he dies here, it could be game. But playing into the Ancient Uragi, there's the Glyph. The Glyph will save the Ancient for some time. But Team Spirit slowly falling, falling, falling. They're gone. GG is cool. Game one going to Na'Vi here, folks. They take game one out of this best of three. We're going for a game two here to see if Team Spirit will equalize this or Na'Vi will push Team Spirit into the lower bracket. Uh, what a performance by Na'Vi. I low-key doubted their draft, but they show they have what it takes to win this game. And it's also like not like Spirit played bad. Spirit played not the best, but they played okay and they also...